Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Magical Star Sign with me, Strawberry Egg. Last time we fought Kale and a creature that's called the Gummy Giant. We also seen some very dramatic scenes and really re and the Sorbet really needs to get slapped in the head. Today, or rather right this moment, we are facing the final boss, Shadra the Moth that will eventually eat the sun. Now, as I recall, this battle is quite long. I may end up splitting the video for the actual ending, or at least the credits or something. Or something separate. We shall see, depending on how long this takes. I know I shouldn't be doing this. Oh, yes! I got it! Yay, I actually got it! Although, I kind of wish it was one of the fronters. This one is what element? If you're wondering, this is one of those bosses that like to shift its element during a battle. It's not dying. I think it just shifted its element. No, oh, I'm not sure what the heck happened. Either way, as you can see, it's clearly not dead. Ah, it's that one too. Final boss battle, and this doesn't really feel all that much different from the other boss fights, does it? This game is not really known for its magic. Uh, for its magic. <laughs> for its battle system, I must say. Hey! Now it's changing its element. It is water element now. Uh huh. Like that, he's not really unconscious or dead or whatever. He's just kind of out of slightly out of position. Do I have to actually revive him anyway? Uh, let's see here. Oh, Mocha is out. Wait, he has to be out, doesn't he? Um, because I know he can only use magic at some point. I've got enough wakey tails to wait. Yep, 
Maybe he just doesn't get up. Okay. He's actually a lot pretty useful against it. Against the mob in its form right now. I'm guessing they just means it's closer to dying, but it's still weird. Can't 
these items if you wanted to. We're gonna need to do a lot of healing. <sighs> you revive. Else afterwards, start eating gummy frog. Now, if you can completely restore that MP for next time.
everything. <laughs> well, it's probably better anyway. Oh, wait. And indeed, a new light shone. What is that light? Hmm, what indeed? Does that mean the sun's finally died? No, there's something about that light. Something familiar. Mm, yes, I see what you mean. I know this light. You know it? You remember those six wizards who came here, don't you? The ones you gave the water millennium gummy to? Yes, the very same. This is their light. See, it's our light. We did this. Ha. Huh. So they actually did it. Beep, 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 beep. High intensity light energy detected. 
Bleep bleep bloop bloop. High intensity light energy detected. Elder, what is that? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. I believe it would be wise to pray now. And what do prots pray to? Look at the sky! What's happening? The sun! It has been reborn! Miss... Madeline! You're back! Yes, Principal Biscotti. I have come to say goodbye. Goodbye? What do you mean? Oh, what in the name of my beard trimming is this going on now? I swear, if it ain't one thing! Looks to me like the sun's getting brighter. Like someone shoved more coal into her furnace. Or something. You think she gonna blow? No. It is a gentle light. <laughs> Don't worry, your sun's not going supernova. This energy is not a force for destruction. The robots have stopped moving. Be careful! Their systems are still operational! Battery level zero! They're operating on reserve power! Reserve power? It's a solar power unit, used for energy shortages! So this light can power them? Hey, would you look at that! The gummy mist is gone! That's right, from now on, the robots will run on solar energy, because by defeating the worm slash moth that will eventually eat it, we have made the sun grow brighter. Yeah, I don't get it either. <laughs> Ugh! What happened? <laughs> Sorbet! Pico? Sorbet! You're alright! Yeah, I'm fine, but what about the others? What about Miss Madeline? At least she's not all gummified anymore. Miss Madeline! Okay, just had to click on myself. Hey, I'm awake. Bee boop, bleedy bleep. Basic systems seem functional. I can't move, but I'm alive. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, strawberry. We. Miss Madeline, what happened to her? Let me see what she says here. Her. No response. Uh, strawberry? Strawberry, is that you? Get up already, sir. Jeez. She's okay? Miss Madeline is okay? Um, possibly not. Thank you, my students. Miss Madeline! You all did so well. Miss Madeline? I'm sorry that I wasn't able to see everything you accomplished to get here. However, I know that you have all truly outdone yourselves, my students. Miss Madeline! Miss Madeline! I know you will face many trial trials. Wow. In the future as well, my students. But from what I have seen, I am confident 
that you can overcome any hardship. The whole point of this game was to save their teacher. And in a game filled of lighthearted moments with surprisingly dark, darker, just tragic moments, this really feels like a bit of a kicker. Wow. Pretty bold, Nintendo. Pretty bold. Miss Madeline! Thank you. If I had time. I would love to have taught you more. Aww. But I am sure you can learn all you need to know on your own now. You have met many people on your travels. Let them be your teachers now. Just promise not to forget what it means to be compassionate. I go now on a journey of my own, but you have nothing to fear. I am sure that we will meet again on another planet, in another life. I guess they believe in reincarnation in this world? Well, believe might be kind of singeing it. She's clearly going somewhere. <laughs> you know, the proof is right there in a the pudding. No, Miss Madeline. All that. Really? Thank goodness you're all safe. Bree, take them outside. Yes, sir. the credits roll here. I think we're doing okay for time. Plus, it's the last... This is actually, yes, here's the last episode. This may as well be a little extra long. There's a bit of a thing at the end, so... I can't say much there. I may as well just talk a little now. That was Magical Star Sign, folks. Took me a little around 30, little more than 30 hours. I think altogether the videos are no more than 20 since I cut out all the extra fluff and such. And yeah, I don't quite get that ending either. I know people criticize the Final Fantasy series for having hard to comprehend endings, but this is a little bit weird too. By destroying the bug, the sun got better, even though supposedly the bug eating the sun would make it get re- uh, it would become reborn somehow. I mean, obviously, that, um, Kraken guy was probably wrong. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, just take it what you will. There's some neat scenes here, though, so I don't talk too much. The king, the buffoon, here they are. I guess saying goodbye to the state police.
rights reserved. And we're back on Kobamaka. Here's a bit of a stinger sort of thing. Pico returned to Kobamaka to continue his education. After being held back for eight years <laughs> in a row, he left Will-O-Wisp's Academy. He traveled through the galaxy, meeting strange people and defeating even stranger monsters and ultimately earned a reputation as a great hero. So he flopped out of school and basically became a sort of adventurer, mercenary, just guy going around the galaxy doing stuff. Hey, an old Sorbet. After her adventures, Sorbet was awarded a full scholarship and completed her education. See what you mean, Sor see what mean Sorbet? She joined the space police on Pafoon, where she joined Brie Pori and General Knucklestorm to restore honor to the Force. <laughs> after everything that happened with Kale, they really needed it. The reputation of the space police was in good hands. She became a police officer, that's kinda cool. Lassie is wearing glasses and a lab coat. A little unusual. Lassie, at last confident in her abilities, taught herself rocket science and published many articles. Which were riddled with errors and ridiculed throughout the scientific community. How did they even get published? I mean, you know, the peer reviews... <laughs> peer review, they probably wouldn't even get published at all. They just get laughed out and then sent back to her. How do you teach yourself rocket science anyway? You, don't you have to go to, like, you know, grads, not even grad school, you have to go to get your PhD for that sort of stuff. <laughs> but anyway. However, she never gave up. After ten years, she built her own rocket and left Baklava forever. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what the heck with Lassie. So what's Mocha been up to? Mocha tried to help Lassie build her rocket. Finally, he literally gave his all to her. <laughs> Offering his own body to finish her rocket. Lassie tearfully accepted his sacrifice. The rocket Mocha was born. And the two friends left Baklava search of new worlds. I'm assuming his consciousness is still around, but yeah, that kind of stinks, becoming a flippin' rocket. I guess he could still talk to Lassie, though. Another what the heck. Chai standing on his tail! Upon returning to Kobamaka, Chai studied hard to improve his magic skills. However, he grew bored with his studies. And when the rocket Mocha launched, he stowed away inside a storage locker located near the fuel tank. Well, at least those three are together off Lord knows when, where, in space. And it's me and a dwarf. Strawberry worked with the dwarves to transform the Kav ruins into a gigantic radio telescope. The device found a faint signal, and Strawberry set off aboard a prototype rocket designed to hold a single occupant, and flew off to investigate. I'm guessing it wasn't Rocket Mocha, and I'm not with my friends. That's a little lame. I know what you're thinking. What in the heck kind of ending was that? Yeah, a lot of fans of the game really don't like that. Where are they now? Post.
ending. Although the whole went off in search of a signal could be a sort of sequel hook, I suppose. I'm actually kind of hoping they'll, they'll make a Magical Vacation 3, Magical Star Sign 2 on the 3DS, but there's been hide nor hair of that. So yeah, that was Magical Star Sign. As I said before, the ending's a little weird. Overall, this game is charming, cute, and really funny in a lot of spots. And of course, the, but the darker moments kind of feel like slaps to the face because they come out of nowhere. I really hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope you enjoyed my voiceovers, though, of my comments, not everybody did. I hope you enjoyed my Let's Play all together. And, uh, possibly see you next time. I mean, I will be continuing that, um, other Let's Play I was doing, Lunar Nights. And, uh, I may add to this if anybody is interested in the Ant Monster album, but until now, that's the end, folks. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. I got a lot of new subscribers out of doing this, and a lot of you seem to enjoy this. So, thanks very much for watching. Thank you for all your comments, and I hope you enjoyed it again. Goodbye, everybody, for now. That's it for the Let's Play. No, that's not. You will not. That, wow. You will not hear the blessed. You will not hear any more from me on this game. Though, you will hear more from me in other